Hello guys, Ezra Time here and today we are going to be, I guess, reviewing the year 2023 now, um, discussing about what my ups and downs for the year, you know, and then obviously it's been a weird year for me, you know, to be honest, but I mean, I'll make it to the end, I guess, and I uh, I'm, I think I'm going to share what's, uh, what, what's my goal for the year 2024, you know, and I'm pretty sure that we all have our own stories, you know, what, you know, what is your favorite moment in 2023 and what is your worst moment in uh, 2023? Um, and I think we all can assume that we are wishing for the best in 2024, you know, but I think for this video I'm just going to be discussing again what my uh, experience for 2023, you know, and kind of like maybe uh, reflect on that, you know, and I think it's, uh, yeah, I think I, I was pretty excited to be honest every single year because even though that wasn't as excited when I was a kid and you know, waiting for a new year, but I'm still, I'm still pretty hyped to see the fireworks, obviously, and I currently was... Uh, I think it was two and a half hours away. If you guys can see the clock in my, I don't think you can see it. Oh, hang on, there it is. It's a uh, nine twenty-four in my time zone right now, and I know that uh, we have uh, like a different time zone. So for me, it's still uh, yeah, there you go, nine twenty-four. Um, so for me, it's again, it's like two and a half hours from now. You know, since I'm recording this video, and I think it's a uh, perfect time for me. To talk about my experience in 2023 and i guess just share my stories for you guys and then maybe i could look back at the video for reflection maybe who knows you know um just hoping for something positive you know um but yeah the year 2023 for me guys it's been pretty weird you know i think uh maybe again maybe it's not exactly bad year but it's also like nothing really happened in, in a way you know for the past two years to be honest you know and i think this is not a good feeling for me but i can only blame myself for that so uh yeah, for the year 2023, it starts off pretty okay for me. I think we I'm still doing college, obviously. I think the semester at the time was pretty okay. I mean, like, it's pretty manageable. Um, but in the middle of 2023, I think the the most fun I had in the in this year, you know, because I get to do what I love, you know, which is uh, content creation. And especially at the time, I was uh, following like an independent study track you know which is about digi uh, digital content creation so I, I was like for six months i was following an online class about and you know, i'm meeting a, a bunch of you know content creators you know like throughout those six months and kind of like making some assignments for those six months making a podcast in a way and that to me was like a genuine fun moment for me and i think i might remember that moment as the best moment in 2023 because i get to do what i love you know and i think um learning that uh, in that classes, you know, I learned that apparently not a lot of people are that passionate about content creation, to be honest, like YouTubers and podcasts and stuff like that, you know, because I thought that when people are joining the classes, I thought it was like, oh, okay, like people are going to be loving this class, you know, we're going to be working together. That's going to be awesome, you know, and to some extent, yes, I think most of them are, but unfortunately, my group, you know, it's just like, I'm the only one who's like passionate about content creation. The other just like, following the subject because they just have to do it, you know, and I think they even admitted at, you know, as much to myself and I was like, wow, okay. I mean, I appreciate your honesty, but damn, dude, like, so I was alone in that time. But at the same time, you know, I get to make uh, the podcast, you know, just a little bit. I think it's a quite, a, quite a fun idea, you know, and I think, uh, you know, some has, and I have some achievement in that study track you know what i kind of like win among the top three which I, I was unexpected to be honest because my podcast at the time was exactly the same as my format on youtube for a uh, movie review and i remember reviewing guardians of the galaxy volume 3 at the time for the podcast and then that podcast got selected on top three and i was like what you know how in the hell this got into top three like how i don't get it you know but uh, i don't really put any music you know it's just literally me talking and then that's it and then for some reason I win, you know, and like, okay, like, does that mean that I was in, in a group of class that, that people doesn't really, you know, didn't really passionate about content creation or, you know, they just maybe overlooked that or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's kind of bizarre, bro. So like, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm glad I won in a way. So I think that's uh, one moment in 2023 that I actually quite appreciate, you know, and of course making other podcasts as well. Um, but besides that, yeah, I mean, nothing must happen. Like I said before, I think it's a pretty 
uh, and I don't know, like it's a pretty flat year for me, you know, where it's like, okay, it's just like flat, and then like there is some ups, you know, in June, and it's just kind of like flat, you know, it's, it's never went worse or like went terrible, you know, thank God for that, but at the same time, it was like flat, you know, there's nothing much happening in my life, and I think I blame myself for that because I feel like I'm not trying enough, and even though like the last six months, you know, the last six months, uh, in, sorry, in September, I guess I start doing internship, you know, like being a translator for an, a news article. And I thought it was like, oh, okay, maybe this is going to be an experience for me. Well, not that much because it was an online job as well. So for the most part, I was like spending time at my home, translating some news, you know, so it was like, it was an okay job. Even though for the most part, I was using Google Translate, you know, because I feel like I tried to translate them, but I kind of realized that, well, like I'm not really that good of a translator. I could try and I did try, but eventually the, the supervisor advised that if, if you want to use Google Translate, fine, but just please double check your translation in a way. And I, I've i been addicted by doing Google Translate fully now. So it's like, yeah, that is not a good habit. I kind of ashamed of that, but I did that. So <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I mean, it's already passed. So I, I there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, um, yeah, I think kind of make me realize that I translate is, is one of the job that I was kind of considering for the future. And I guess by this internship, it kind of make me realize that you know, maybe it's not for me. I think translator is just like, uh, I don't know, it's just too tough for me. Like, I love English, you know, but I feel like I'm not really good as, at, you know, translating them from English to Indonesian or Indonesian to English, you know, because I'm not, I'm just not that good at that, you know. So it's like, yeah, okay, like, I, I know that now. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my <laughs> review for 2023, guys. Again, it's a flat year for me. Nothing must happen, you know, besides in the middle of the year, but the the content creation you know, because I love doing that but at the same time that's it you know like I don't remember that much about the beginning of the year it just kind of like went by and the last three months kind of made me realize that I don't really want to become a translator but I guess we'll see what's gonna happen um, and I guess for my goal for 2024 like I guess you know actually past college you know hopefully next year hopefully you know fingers crossed um but i, I gotta be honest I don't know man I don't know if I, I'm gonna be able to do it next year but hopefully I could you know so I can just finish doing college and then doesn't really you know bother my parents again but i gotta finish my so again here's the goal for my 2024 year guys i have to finish my fail course obviously and then uh hopefully for the youtube channel maybe i could do something i don't know like i guess be more consistent with uploading it you know i don't know like sometimes with this youtube channel i always try to upload something some some videos you know either like a movie review or like a reaction videos you know but i feel like right now reaction video is kind of like getting some criticism obviously which i get it you know so that's why i'm like okay well i'm i thank god i didn't actually do the 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 you know the, the five nights at freddy's face you know where i was like reacting to so many series like back in the day every single day you know and that's that's how i get my audience which i'm grateful for that but at the same time it's just not really happy for me anymore you know and i feel like doing movie reviews you know or like uh making something else for the the youtube channel you know maybe in the future is way more fun even though that it didn't really get many uh views or attention which i understand because obviously my movie review is not that good you know and i feel like the way i you know conceive my reviews like a bit uh i don't know it's a bit unclear sometimes you know and maybe i was like mumbling at times you know like that happens you know so yeah i don't know hopefully i can improve that in the future somehow i need a new pc obviously because my pc is old so that's still on my list but i think it's, it's probably not gonna be next year but i guess we'll see um and yeah what else um i guess <laughs> okay i'm gonna share something with you guys you know which i think maybe one of my other goals that i think it's gonna be completely laughable and maybe it's not going to happen maybe it's almost impossible to happen to be honest but there is a part of me that kind of realized that you know what i kind of love acting in a way and i know that it's weird for me that i'm just making youtube videos you know i'm reviewing movies i'm reacting to it you know but there is no acting material in this youtube channel which i get it you know but i feel like on the on one of my uh courses in university that is this uh drama class and I remember playing a villain, you know, like a, a murderous villain. And I remember, ha you know, having so much fun playing that character and just went into it 1000%. And because of that, I think, and because of that, and then, of, of course, my my friends as well, you know, where we, we were super passionate, I guess, trying, trying our best, you know, with our performance, you know, and 
it got like our group got number one in the the class you know like we actually get number one and had the best grade you know in the class and i was like whoa okay that was unexpected you know but besides that you know besides that that number one which i think is great but i think the the biggest point that i was taking there is that i was actually into uh acting there for even for a small moment you know and i feel like uh maybe i wanted to try that maybe next year who knows you know like again i'm not saying that i will audition for a movie no right? like <laughs> that it's just impossible to do that but i guess, like, I guess maybe i learned some online classes about acting maybe because my my dad is asking, asking me to do something else besides that so maybe next year i will do that you know if i do that then maybe i'll, I'll update you guys if you guys care enough to be honest you know but yeah, you know, so yeah, maybe maybe that's gonna happen. Who knows? <laughs> but all of that is obviously just a dream. It's just a goal. I don't know if it's, if it's going to happen or not. You know, it's probably gonna be laughable to most of you guys, which I understand because it was so bizarre for me to uh, to just suddenly say that yeah, maybe acting for next year. You know, like again, it's just something that I may maybe I'll, I'll I'll try. You know, but again, I just I just have no promises for myself to do that so i guess we have to wait and see what's gonna happen next year because nobody knows obviously so i think we are going to hope for the best in the year 2024 you know hopefully we can achieve our goal and you know our dreams you know and also i want to apologize if this video appears to be like me gloating about my courses on university then like i'm sorry if it, if, if it come across that way like you know that is not my intention you know like my intention is to share that uh, you know, like what, what, what the biggest point that I got there, you know, especially with the drama class, like the biggest point that I got is actually I enjoy playing a character, you know, acting as a character. I enjoyed it so much, you know, and I think that made me realize that I maybe I want to try that in the future. Who knows? Um, but yeah, guys, I guess that's my video for the year 2023 review, guys. Again, I know this is like a weird video because I don't have a, a, enough, you know, uh, structure for the video. I just like kind of say it what I, you know, what I had in my mind you know and i think i did just try my best to convey this video as well as possible you know uh, yeah i guess i guess you guys can share in the comment section below if you guys interested enough you know like what is your ups and down in the year 2023 you know and obviously what is your goal for the year 2024 you know you, if you guys want to share that then go ahead you know and to be honest, I don't think a lot of people are going to watch this video, you know, uh, if I'm being honest. But at the same time, you know what, at least I could make this video as a reflection for myself, you know, for every single end of the year, you know, maybe just to keep an update or like remind me like, you know, oh, this is like last year to me. And then, oh, this is this year, uh, our calf, you know, or like, sorry, um, history, you know, uh, history of my life in a way. And maybe I could use this to improve myself in the future, you know, and like, I guess that's my goal for making the videos in the first place so uh yeah anyway guys um i guess you know merry christmas you know and even though it's already passed but still merry christmas and happy new year to all of you you know and i know that the time zone is different and probably for the most of you is still probably still like one day away from new year you know but for, for me right now it's literally two and a half hours away so it's really close so uh yeah, guys, either way, um, happy new year to all of you guys. And again, I hope that we all have a fantastic new year, you know, with your friends and family, you know. Hope you guys are having a, a wonderful time here on New Year's Eve, you know. And obviously, uh, we're going to go to the year 2024 with, uh, you know, a big dream or big goal, you know, and hope for the best to happen because we all don't know what's going to happen for the next year. But we all hope for the best for all of you guys, you know. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I guess thank you for watching for the video. And I guess stay tuned for the video for uh next year to see what's gonna be the first video for next year you know so stay tuned for that guys and again i hope you guys again having a fun time on new year's eve and i will see you guys in the next video then bye